Hello there, I'm Mark and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can add embedded document to your Affinity Designer project. We will also explore benefits of doing that, why we should border and add embedded document into project, what can we do with that later. So I'm going to prepare two artboards. You should be able to see them right now. The artboard on the left is blue, artboard on the right is green. So in the blue artboard I'm going to design a little Instagram post using mostly text tool. In the green artboard I'm going to do the same thing but instead of using simple text tool I'm going to embed a document with the text inside. By the way, what this embedded document really is, it's a special layer that's contained another Affinity Designer document. That's right. So we dragging and dropping one document into another. And this another document is still editable. Both are editable and we can jump between them. That's the biggest benefit here. If you ever work with Photoshop, you may use something called smart layers. That's very, very similar concept. All right, let's get started. As I mentioned, in this blue area, I will just use basic tools. So let's grab text tool. I type party and we will go and stretch this up. Select quickly recolor. White will do, maybe some simple font like this one here, very bulky and simple. All right, that should do. So that's my text. Now I'm going to simply duplicate this whole layer. I can right click on the layer, duplicate, and the layer below. For this layer, I will get rid of the fill color. Instead of that, I will go and add border color also white like this let's turn this maybe inside the shape like this all right five points will do so we got something like this and now i will also add a gradient so it will be fading at the top all right so i click on the layer and I'm going to attach this little mask layer to the second layer to my duplicate. I got white mask here and now I can use gradient tool to mask out part of this text. Now it's too soft so I will modify the gradient gray color into pure black. All right, that's better. But maybe we can experiment with that. Maybe longer gradient will do. Okay, one more time. I need pure black here. Cool. I'm happy with the result. I will also change the blending mode for this text to overlay. Cool, that's exactly what I want. Now I will simply right click, duplicate this one more time move it even lower for the duplicate i will reduce opacity to like 50 percent now i can duplicate this one more time and for the duplicate that is below i will reduce opacity once more this time to 25 percent all right so that's really simple design you may see something like this on instagram or other social media we got this keyword here and then it's like fading away with this nice outline glow around it. All right, so that's my blue artboard. Let's try to do something very, very similar, but this time using embedded object. That's our goal for today to learn more about this feature. So instead of using type tool again, I need to create totally new document so let's go to file new i will stick with the same size
So I got my new document and I will add my text into this new document. Again, I will try to make it similar to the previous one. So I will select that, change the font right here, but I will keep it as black text on simple white backdrop. There's actually no backdrop here, just text. All right, that's very simple. What I need to do right now is to save this simple document. So I'll just save it as, I think design a native document, so save. And now I will simply drag and drop this document into the one that we created previously with those two artboards. And as you can see, it showed the document we saved previously separately. All right, and now we can see embedded layer here in this document. If I double tap this layer, one, two, it's open as the separate having to design a document. If I try to make any changes here, for example, recolor those letters from black to white, and I go back to this document, it's already changed here. So that's nice. Let's try to recreate this Instagram post using this embedded document then. So I can reposition that. As you can see, the size is the whole document this time, not only a text. All right, I will make a copy so I can duplicate that. And for the duplicate, we're going to use layer style. So I will go here, layer effect, and I will reduce fill opacity to zero. Now I can see through it completely and we're going to add outline from here. Our outline from here, I got why I need white outline inside. I think last time we used like five points or something like that. So let's keep it this way. And we also use a blending mode overlay, something like that. Okay, that's nice. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Cool. All good here. I will click close. Unfortunately, if I try to apply a same mask as before to fade away this text, it will give me this strange effect because we got layer style on it right now. So we cannot easily fade it away as we did before using mask. So we cannot just apply simple mask, but what we can do is we can modify this layer style. So this outline is set up as a solid color. Let's change this to gradient 90% like this. And now we can simply reverse Let's recolor this other point to white as well, but we will reduce opacity of this area, other end to zero, so it's slowly fading away. So now we got kind of similar result here. We can scale it up and down a little bit. Okay, I think this is very similar right now. So I just use this layer effect with gradient instead of solid color for the outline. All right, now we can simply duplicate this one more time. You may remember we move the bottom one lower, even lower and reduce overall opacity of this whole layer. So let's go inside. We can reduce opacity of the outline here. Close that and one more duplicate, the final one. And from here, I can also go inside layer effects, reduce opacity once more to 25. 
And this way we got very very similar result on both artboards. The thing is, the one on the left, it was a little bit quicker to create, I can say that. And the one on the right, we embed a document and then we need to work a little bit around to modify the appearance of this document using layer styles. But at the end of the day, we got two very similar projects. So why we need to bother and use embedded document, you may ask. Let me show you what is the biggest benefit of that. Let's say you got your email from your customer now. Actually, it will be not party. They're changing this main text on this banner. So you want to modify that. Let's say I'll change this to my name. And as you can see, nothing else changed. Luckily, I didn't extend, ex, extend those letters. I didn't convert them to curves. Oof, that's really good luck. Very often, many designers convert to curves or some, sometimes even to raster. In that case, they cannot edit anything. In my case, I still can edit that. But I need to edit the same thing one, two, three, four times because I got four copies of this. There are separate documents. Sorry, separate objects for program, four different layers with text, not linked to each other. But on my green artboard, when I use embedded document, take a look, each layer is called embedded document. If I double tap on any of this, it will take me to the source file. You cannot see this text right now because it's white. So let me just make it gray. All right, I'm inside this embedded document now. I'm going to change the text inside embedded document. I will click file save. It's saved automatically as you can see. That's good stuff. Now I can just go to my main one. Oh, I didn't change the color back to white. All right, go back to the main document and ta-da! I don't need to modify each duplicate of this embedded document. Everything update based on the source. So embedded document is kind of like variable. You can put stuff inside, the stuff inside can change and it will update in the main document. We got one affinity file inside another. So that's the biggest benefit here. So why are you designing a template for other designers or for yourself to use it every week? Maybe post a template, social media template. If you use embedded document in that, it will be more editable as you can see right now. Okay, I can jump in and I can change it again. I can type anything I want here. So let's say, hello, I go back and I got totally new Instagram banner based on what I set up before. That's how many of those beautiful text templates works. They actually use not only layer styles, but they use embedded documents and create multiple copy of the same text like this. All right, in case of classic approach, you need to modify this manually every time, every time. And as I mentioned, very, very often people convert the text to curves or convert curves to rasters to apply some special effects. And after that, you cannot change that anymore. All right, so if you are a little bit familiar with the whole concept of embedding documents, I encourage you to take your time and do that if you've got serious project, especially customer project, when you want to keep stuff editable. All right, so that's how you can use embedded documents. They work very, very similar to smart layers in Photoshop and they will give you great flexibility and save your time. Thank you for today. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I got many, many more videos about Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer, so check that out. All right, I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.